Sometimes they just wait. Killing time in the summer heat. But never for long. As casualties start coming, sent back from the front line. Access there is strictly restricted, but in a day here, we had insights into the battle they're waging a few miles away. Yeah. Ukraine's counter-offensive is meeting stiff resistance in Russia's defences and minefields. Everything here is mined. Most of these injuries are caused by artillery shelling, strikes and minefields our guys have to walk through. The counteroffensive began using Western-supplied heavy armor, we're told. But mines have slowed Ukraine's advance. Much of the fighting is on foot now, and it's taking a bloody toll. Doctors fight to save ligaments severed by a mortar that's cut deep into a leg. The patient's a medic himself, later telling us he'd been on the front just three days before the Russians attacked. <laughs> It was a mortar attack. We had just arrived and had to go to our position. Well, we're an assault brigade. We were supposed to go to the position and drones started flying and bombing us. Next, what they call a red patient in a critical condition. A Burns victim rushed from the front line. As he moans, they work fast to stabilize him, his limbs shaking in pain. The condition of the patient is serious, taking into account thermal burns, head, upper limbs, back completely, lower limbs. Well, the condition is critical. The patient needs urgent intervention. He's transferred to an ambulance. His condition kept stable as they raced through the traffic. The quicker he reaches hospital, the better the odds. There's a specialist burns unit here, increasing his chances, but his life is still threatened. He has uh, very big surface uh, that are injured uh, of uh, skin, and uh, unfortunately, prognostically, it is no, not so good as it could be. Ukraine reveals little about its casualty rate in this war, but we've been given a sense of what its soldiers are going through, and it's clearly not getting any easier. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Zaporizhia.